You're watching Football Daily and this week, in the spirit of Valentine's Day, we're looking at the most charitable football players, the guys who spread the love with their good works. 10. Dani Alves Dani Alves often divides opinion, with Barcelona fans praising him as one of the world's best attacking fullbacks and Real Madrid supporters criticising him as a diving cheat. But one guy who will always hold Alves in the highest regard is former teammate Eric Abidal. In 2011, doctors found a tumour in Abidal's liver, and despite surgery to remove the growth, the defender was left needing a transplant. Step forward Alves, who offered to donate part of his own liver to the cause. Abidal turned him down, as the operation would have affected the Brazilian's playing career. An incredible act of friendship by both men. Number 9 is Arsenal and Germany superstar Mesut Ozil. The Gelsenkirchen native was an integral part of the German side which won the World Cup in 2014, gaining each member of the squad a bonus of €300,000. Ozil, who picks up around £140,000 a week in North London, put the money to good use, funding emergency operations for 23 Brazilian children as a thank you for the country's hospitality during the tournament. We think he meant the food and friendliness, not the seven goals the home nation shipped in the semi-final. 8. Stephen Naismith Stephen Naismith might be an unexpected name on our list, but that's only because the Scottish international is not given to boasting about his charitable work. When he was at Rangers, Naismith received a letter from a soldier in Afghanistan, wishing him a speedy recovery from a knee injury, and Naismith decided to return that kindness, setting up an initiative to help injured ex-servicemen back into employment. The Norwich forward also helps at homeless centres in his home city of Glasgow, has given match tickets away at job centres and is an ambassador for Dyslexia Scotland. Perhaps Norwich should raise his wages, as the money is obviously better spent by Naismith than most other players. 7. Alexis Sanchez The second gunner in our top 10, Alexis Sanchez is loved for his skill and effort on the field, but he works just as hard off it. In 2007, his hometown, Tocopilla in the north of Chile, was hit by a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake and over the next few years Sanchez rallied fans and teammates to raise funds as the town rebuilt itself. He still hands out footballs with the mayor every Christmas and sent lorries full of first aid kits, bottled water and clothes when Tocopilla was devastated by flooding. The Chilean now has a street named after him, no more than he deserves. 6. Neymar Brazil's favourite son, Neymar, has already given a huge amount back. The Barca attacker has established the Neymar Junior Institute project which built a sports and education complex in Sao Paulo and partnered with charity Waves for Water which brings clean water filters to communities in need. Neymar arranged an auction of signed football memorabilia to fund the effort and also participated in FIFA's 11 against Ebola campaign, educating people in how to avoid the disease. And he's still under 25, giving him plenty of time to do much, much more. 5. Lionel Messi Having struggled with a growth hormone deficiency as a kid, Messi's good works have focused on children, with donations and ambassadorial work for UNICEF. The Argentinian has travelled to Haiti with the organisation, raising awareness of the issues facing the country's children after the 2010 earthquake, and his charity football matches, Messi and Friends, have financed medical research and hospitals in Argentina and Spain and the five-time Ballon d'Or winner has never forgotten the clubs that contributed to his success, as he has funded all-weather pitches, gyms and dormitories at Sarmiento, Newell's Old Boys and other Argentinian teams. 4. Michael Essien Michael Essien is not as high-profile as he once was, but in Ghana, the Panathinaikos midfielder continues to make a difference for poor and disadvantaged people. He has a foundation in his own name, which provides libraries, public toilets, drinking water and healthcare, and the former Chelsea and Real Madrid man also pays for education about malaria after contracting the disease as a child. SEM was inspired to help after his brother died searching for water and has organised two Games of Hope in Ghana, charity matches between African and World Elevens, which have featured Mesut Ozil, Kaka and Yaya Toure. 3. Cristiano Ronaldo he may have lost out to Messi for the Ballon d'Or in 2016, but Cristiano Ronaldo is third on our list. The Portuguese has acted as a spokesman on issues like child hunger and biodiversity, and donated millions of euros to setting up schools. But Ronaldo's global commitments haven't prevented him from helping out locally. He gave over £100,000 to a cancer centre in Portugal which treated his mother, 
paid the hospital bills of a nine-year-old suffering from the disease and donated nearly £60,000 to a ten-year-old boy who needed brain surgery. It's easy to mock Ronaldo for his vanity and occasional selfishness on the pitch, but there's no doubt that he's a pretty generous guy. 2. David Beckham It's pretty strange that an ex-Man United and Real Madrid player would be loved by fans of his rivals, but David Beckham is one of the most popular men ever to play the sport. And with good reason, as he's met with Prime Minister David Cameron to discuss child malnutrition, campaigned for AIDS awareness, and appeared in the Malaria No More campaign to fund beds for patients. In 2015, Beckham marked 10 years of work with UNICEF by completing the unprecedented feat of playing a game of football on every continent, culminating in a sold-out match at Old Trafford, with teams managed by Alex Ferguson and Carlo Ancelotti, and Robert Pires, Luis Figo and Ronaldinho among those participating. Let's just agree now that David Beckham should be president of FIFA. At number one, it's Chelsea and Ivory Coast legend Didier Drogba. He had some stiff competition, but nobody else on our list can say that they ended a war, but that's exactly what Drogba did. The Ivory Coast was suffering from a civil war in 2005, when the national team qualified for the following year's World Cup. Drogba took advantage of the moment to take a microphone and make a plea for peace from the team's dressing room. Within a week, both sides laid down their arms and Drogba arranged for one of the country's African Cup of Nations qualifiers to be staged in Buarque, one of the hotspots of the fighting. The move confirmed Drogba's incredible achievement, and he didn't stop there. On signing an endorsement deal with Pepsi in 2009, he handed over his entire £3 million fee to build a hospital in his hometown of Abidjan. Countless Ivorians owe their lives to Drogba, and for that reason, he's our most charitable footballer. But have we missed anyone out? Let us know in the comments below. And from good guys to bad guys, go and check out our top 10 footballing scandals featuring Seth the Twat Blatter. And as ever guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.